Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm Meredith Brita. And I'm Daniel Waterhouse. We have a sizable amount of news to cover today, so let's get started. Our boys basketball Braves won a nail-biter over Madeira last Friday night, 43-41. Here is a clip from IHTN of the game-winning shot. We have at least two timeouts left. Get open, somebody. Marco Fiore. What an amazing finish. Also, this past Tuesday, they defeated Goshen, winning 62-47, to continuing their streak on to nine games. Congratulations, and thank you to all who attended the game to support the Braves. On Saturday, our Lady Braves basketball team swept the competition under the rug with a 60-30 to win over Reading. Amazing work, ladies. Don't miss the girls' next game on Saturday at 1.30 against Wyoming, and the guys' next games are Friday night against Deer Park and Saturday night against Amelia, both starting at 7.30. Be a real brave and come out to support the teams. For those of you unable to attend any of the three basketball games this weekend, make sure to turn into online at IHTN1 YouTube channel, as the game will be streamed live. Don't miss the chance to see our Braves play this weekend. As the weather gets colder and colder, the swim and dive team decided it's the perfect time for a dip in the pool. Wish these crazy Braves luck as they head off to the Coaches Classic on Saturday. And make sure to check out their swimming corner between the front office and the athletic hallway. Good luck, Aqua Braves. Now let's throw it over to Joe Simrad to see this week's Feature of the Week. Hello, I'm Joe Simrad, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of Indian Hill's lesser-known clubs or groups in this school, and that is the Ultimate Frisbee Club. Now, this club is led by players such as Tarek Widom, Brett Fowler, and even Durham Colohan participates. Now, as you can see from these interviews, people don't seem to know a whole lot about Ultimate Frisbee. Are you a member of the Ultimate Frisbee Club? I'm not. Are you in Ultimate Frisbee Club? No. Have you heard anything about Ultimate Frisbee Club? No. How does the initial velocity of a flying disc alter its track? <laughs> what? What's your favorite way to catch a flying disc? With your hands, I guess. Well put. <sighs> flying saucers. Um, I, I don't know. I... Have you ever heard of Ultimate Frisbee Club? I have no idea what Ultimate Frisbee Club is or why it's the Ultimate, but where can I sign up? Despite the lack of Frisbee knowledge from the student body, there's a hopeful future for the club, and anyone interested in joining, please contact the priorly mentioned leaders. Thank you. Wow, Ultimate Frisbee sounds like a blast! Thanks, Joe! Join Indian Hill and Cancer Free Kids at the Cintas Center February 26th for the 2016 Night for the Fight. It is a high energy, fun high school overnight fundraiser for students. It lasts 12 hours, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and students walk, play games, dance, eat, learn about childhood cancer and more. Each student will fundraise at least $100 for pediatric cancer research through Cancer Free Kids. Help Indian Hill and join the fight in childhood cancer. If anyone is interested or has any questions, please contact Georgia Kennedy at georgia.kennedy at me.com. If you're interested, make sure to sign up using the link located in the description. Attention seniors! The senior class student government needs your help in decorating the display case beside the English neighborhood. All you need to do is send your favorite photos from this year of you and your friends to Spencer Mukai at 6 mukai at gmail.com. The photos will be put in a display in a collage and it's sure to look amazing. Last weekend, our mock trial team swept the UC tournament. Indian Hill has won this tournament every time that we've attended in the past and this year was no exception. Our red team took first place in the whole tournament 
followed by our black team in second place and our white team in third. Every one of our three competing teams won all of their trials, which is a huge accomplishment. The teams also won nine of the possible 12 awards. Be sure to wish them congratulations and good luck in districts on January 29th. Oh, what's that, Marcus? Oh, sorry to interrupt. We have an urgent weather forecast with Marcus Baskin. Take it, Marcus. Thanks, guys. It's Marcus here, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty wide outside. Look at all this snow. Oh, isn't it awesome? But uh, I'm afraid this might be all we're going to get for the rest of the week. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing a weather report. Yeah, back at you in the studio. That's okay, Marcus. Everybody, every weatherman has to start somewhere. Before we go, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Braves Beat. Don't forget to check out the official Braves Beat channel for more clips and entertainment. And please make sure to follow IH Spirit Club on Twitter to be kept in the loop on all things spirited. Also, make sure to like our Braves Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Have a great weekend, Braves. And as always, stay, stay saucy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. <laughs> Freedom. Diversity, liberty, opportunity, diversity. Marcus Baskin is an everyday man. He points, he waves, and he looks out windows. And he looks out on this nation and sees all the potential it has to be great. Marcus Baskin is the strongest leader this nation will have ever seen. And he'll open the gates of opportunity to the American people. I am Mark Spaskin. I approve this message. Dab on him. Oh. oh, some more breaking news. Late news from Mr. Zidron. Friday's boys basketball game is Hoops for Troops. Come see our 9-1 Braves boys basketball team while supporting our military. Wear your red, white, and blue or your camo gear and show your patriotic pride. Buy a chance to win one of our raffle prizes, including two tickets to this year's prom. Huh? Stop by the USO tribute table and write a note of thanks and appreciation to our soldiers. Hit the floor at halftime and particip participate in our free throw shootout while BB and T will be making a donation for each free throw made. All funds will raised will benefit our wounded warriors and their families through USO Tribute Cincinnati. If you want to volunteer to help the event, please see Jane DeGenero.